people all over the globe were sharing a story that was not only shocking, but also heartbreaking. There was shock and disbelief tonight after actor Alec Baldwin was involved in a fatal and apparent accidental shooting of a woman on a New Mexico movie set. Alec Baldwin seen in anguish Thursday after firing a prop gun on the set of Rust, an independent western, killing cinematographer Helena Hutchins and injuring director Joel Souza. According to a search warrant released late Friday night, another crew member grabbed a prop gun off a cart, handed it to Baldwin and yelled, cold gun, apparently unaware it was loaded with live rounds. A safety bulletin for the industry says live ammunition is never to be used, except for the very rare occasion, which did not appear to be the case for the movie Rust. So if indeed it was a live round, where did that live round come from? How did it get into the gun? Now the nation is asking, how could something like this happen? Today, investigators are trying to determine how in the world a prop gun, which is supposed to be loaded with blanks, killed one person and injured another. Okay, maybe I'm an idiot, but I don't get this. Like, why do they need to use real guns to make a fake thing? Because Hollywood movies love using the fake version of real things for everything, except guns. Like in Hollywood, they've got fake everything. They've got fake tigers, they've got fake houses, they've got fake diversity and inclusion initiatives, but then when it comes to deadly weapons, suddenly they're like, let's get a real gun and uh, see what happens. Yeah, you know, switch things up. It makes no sense to me. Live gunfire is something that should have been phased out of movies a long time ago, like blackface. But I guess Hollywood has a history of moving slowly on innovation. I mean, shit, it was only a few years ago that they found out that women could be over 33. And what makes the story even worse is that usually there are a lot of safety measures in place to make sure that this kind of thing doesn't happen. But it sounds like this movie set didn't take safety that seriously. NBC News has learned safety concerns, including multiple previous misfires of the same prop gun Baldwin used, led several crew members to walk off the set hours before the accident. And the LA Times says a crew member recently texted the unit production manager warning, quote, we've now had three accidental discharges. This is super unsafe. 24-year-old Hannah Gutierrez-Reed was in charge of weapons on the set in New Mexico. She recently discussed her experience on a podcast. By all means, I'm still learning. I think loading blanks was like the scariest thing to me because I was like, oh, I don't know anything about it. Okay, that? That is not something you ever want to hear from a person in charge of your guns. And it's also a good reminder to never go on the ominous foreshadowing podcast with Zach and Kyle. I mean, this gun misfired multiple times and still was allowed on set? How is that possible? Like, was this gun's dad the producer? Now, reportedly, one of the reasons that this might have happened is because the production didn't want to spend the money on firearm safety experts. And guys, look, man, if you don't have the budget to pay for gun safety for your gun movie, then maybe you shouldn't be making a gun movie. Make a different movie. Like, I don't know, a cooking movie. Or maybe a movie about how two people aren't really meant for each other, but actually are. Just do one more of those. Because it is absolutely unnecessary for anybody to lose their life for a pretend thing. But I guess some Hollywood productions don't feel that way because this isn't even the first time that this has happened. Tragedy has struck before on a set at the hands of a prop gun in 1993. Brandon Lee, son of the martial arts icon Bruce Lee, was killed at the age of 28. He was on the set of the film The Crow. That was after an improperly loaded Smith & Wesson fired while filming. And back in 1984, on the set of the TV series Cover Up, the actor John Eric Hexum died from an accidental, self-inflicted prop gunshot. He was just 24 years old. Yeah, you see, it's happened before. It's like every few years, someone on a movie set gets shot for real, by a pretend gun. And maybe this is a controversial take, but I don't think movie things should kill real people. Even once in a while, it shouldn't be acceptable. Can you imagine if every so often one of the robot dinosaurs in Jurassic Park actually ate a person? Best believe there would never be a sequel. In fact, forget Jurassic Park, they would cancel Barney. they would be like, yo, yo, get that thing away from the kids, it's too risky. Look, people, this is a mistake that never should have been made. It's a life that never should have been lost. And hopefully, hopefully, it's a tragedy that never happens again.